Hi Scorpio, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It's always a blessing just to have you right back here. Okay. Today's reading is for you. You know you're a diamond, shine beautiful, and shine bright like a diamond. Also, Scorpio, please make a friendly note that if the reading does not resonate to your situation, please do not get her offended or any of things. It only simply means here today that the reading is not for you. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. I'm not sure. I'm always trying to figure out, do I look down here at the red lights? Or do I look in the middle? Or do I look on that button? I think if I look over there, I'm looking off camera. So I'm going to look where the red light is. Alright. Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Um, if you're new here, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. And for all my returning seekers, I love you guys. Mm. You guys are amazing. Okay, I'm going to get into a quick prayer, y'all, because we do pray here on this channel. For those of you that are new here, we pray all day, every day. So let me tap into your energy, say a quick prayer, and see what comes through with your message, okay? Every day, Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my secrets. Heavenly Father, peace and the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Scorpio. So this is, in fact, a general reading. It definitely won't resonate to every single one of you. Please take from the reading what resonates to your situation and leave the rest. Okay? You can pick up your person's energy or whatever you have in your circumstances. Okay? Cross watchers, these readings could resonate with you as well. Um, and if you do need a personal reading... The information and how to connect with me to have a personal reading will be listed in the description part of today's video. Video. Okay, y'all. Let's get into your reading. What's the message? What's the message? Scorpio. I'm getting someone is still able to act your shit. You are worth waiting for. Sister and cousin is hating. Tell me more. Siblings. Wow. <laughs> Children. You got a lot going on, Scorpio. I'm getting there's a weakness. Hmm. Faith username. Wow. Everything takes time. Be patient. Someone hopes you're happy, or this could be you, that's hoping that they're happy. Love is a wonderful thing. Love is a wonderful thing. Have faith. Okay. Let's talk about your cards here, okay? Your messages, rather. And if I do need to clarify, I will use the tarot to clarify some things here as I see, all right? All right, so I'm getting the situation that you're dealing with right now where you might feel like someone is maybe invading your privacy, your personal space. Um, I think your intuition is definitely on point, that is. Um, there's definitely someone who's trying to figure out your passwords, your, um, everything. Okay. Someone is trying to figure your stuff out here. All right. Um, I'm, I'm feeling is someone who, you know, already because sister and cousin did come in and I'm getting these siblings are hating as well. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm getting children, y'all. If these are your children, these are children that belongs to sisters' energy, siblings' energy, or cousins' energy. 
I'm getting they're sitting right there when your name has been talked about is what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting here. Someone is trying to have a fake username with your information here. And I'm getting somebody is a witness that you know. Someone that you know that knows what's going on. They're a witness to what's happening here. Everything takes time, okay? Be patient. Some of you feel like right now you're at a crossroad where you might need these siblings and cousins and stuff that's hating on you. For some of you, you're kind of in a difficult position right now where you feel like you can't really kind of even pay your bills without the help of family or friends or whatever. But everything takes time, okay? Just be patient. Be patient. Things are going to change for you. You're worth waiting for, okay? Your relationship may not be going accordingly at this point. Or for some of you, you're kind of in separation with your situation. Everything takes time. Love is a wonderful thing, okay? Just know that love is a wonderful thing. Don't force it. Don't force it. Um, Someone is saying that they hope you're happy here. I hope you're happy. This could be you that hopes that Whoever is showing hate or devilish attitude or behavior towards you, you do hope this person is happy. You do hope these people are happy. And you're hoping that they feel the same towards you as well, all right? But someone is really going through a lot with family right now, and that's on period, okay? All right, let me go get the tarot out, and just we're going to clarify some things, okay? Hmm. My my juice is, is done, y'all. So I'm gonna put some water in here because I stay thirsty, y'all. I stay thirsty, okay? You're gonna be drinking more than eating. And just clarify these cards, please. These messages here for Scorpio, please. Tap it into the energy. And clarify these cards for Scorpio. Clarify these cards for Scorpio, please. If I use cards to scrap your please. So in the back of the deck, we have the Empress here. This Empress, being on the back of the deck, is having me feel like you need to take your power. Take back your role of being in leadership, okay? Um, whatever that you're dealing with right now, you have to know that you are an Empress, okay? Someone may be trying to belittle ben your character, having you feel like you're less than here. Um, trying to have you feel like you're the last of the pack. But some of you feel like you're the black sheep, but you're not. You're actually an empress, okay? You need to take back your power here, all right? Um, what we do have here is the lover's card. The lover's card did show up in um, in the reverse. And then we have the hangman here in the, uh, no, in, the, in the upright. And then we have the four of swords in the reverse, the two of swords. And then we also have the three of wands. Now... In your present form, I did get the Emperor, okay? And the Emperor showed up in the reverse. I will get some clarification on this. Um, emperor, uh, the Aerophant, I'm sorry. The Aerophant and see what comes through. But if 
I need to pull some um, more clarity here, I will definitely do that for you guys, all right? All right, so with the lover's card here, I feel like um, situation is at its width here. Um, this lover's card does resonate to what you're dealing with at present with your relationship. Not just relationships with your person, so say, but this also resonates to things that you may be presently dealing with, with, with family and friends alike, okay? Um, I do feel as if you are done kind of being around a toxic vibes or toxic situation that is pulling you down, having you feel like, you know, you're lost, having you feel like you're not, you've forgotten your word here, your place. Um... It just did say that love is a wonderful thing and love is a wonderful thing. But when love starts to feel very karmic here or when love starts to feel very toxic, then it's time you separate yourself from all things seen or unseen is what I see you doing here. Now, with the hangman here, um, I do also feel as if, you know, and because the hangman is definitely um, one that is not surprising why it decided to come through, I do feel like there, these people are staying watching you, is trying to figure out what you have going on here, trying to be little um, forward moving. Okay, I do feel like some of you be may be waiting for some kind of an apology here, or trying to figure out if, if these people or these these persons have any kind of remorse as to what they have done, the damage that was caused. But I do feel like someone is trying to be fake here, on low. Trying to be spiteful, trying to either irritate you or trying to just be not in your purpose here, okay? Um, is what I see that's going on here. Let's kind of wait to see how things is going to unfold in a negative form. But what I do see is that you're done um, putting up with all of this back and forth type of an issue here. With this Four of Swords, you've rested from it, you've thought about it, you have... Um, complained about it you've um thought and cried about what's happening here okay um but in the reverse i do feel like you're done you're done you don't want to do this anymore you ready to just pick up pieces say bye bye to whatever you need to say bye bye to uh and move on okay because you're not it's like right now you're like fighting a battle with everyone okay um there's no communication coming in here everyone seems to think they are right Everyone seems to think that this is the way the story goes. And no one is trying to understand where you're coming from. Where you're trying to, to go with everything. Trying to make peace, okay? And this situation is just going and going and going like a train out of control here. Is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're about to cut all ties. You're going to just um, separate your bond here and, and move forward, okay? Is what I see you doing here. Now, with this Three of Wands, I do also feel like someone is either thinking about moving away, okay? Just kind of saying, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I just even want to be around these fake um, people or fake situation here that's holding me back. Um, having my fate ruptured like a volcano here. Um, just making men's with whatever I can make men's with. Because I see like you're dealing with a lot of manipulation and mind game here is what I see coming through. With this earth font that's in the reverse, there's a lot of manipulation that's coming in. Um, a lot of people with ego, a lot of situations is very, very stagnant here. And again, with this empress being here, you have to tap into power here, okay? You have to tap into power in order to deal with this and manifest what you have to manifest. I see you manifesting what you need to manifest here in order to find your peace, your grace back. Okay, um, regaining your power and just moving away or letting whatever you have to let go, let to let the Six of Swords, okay? A decision is going to be made here um, or a choice to just walk away from whatever it is that you need to walk away from because I do feel like this has been a setback. I'm getting a setback here. I'm getting these people have not done anything really, okay? They have not done anything. Um, and I'm seeing people being still stuck here. Um, sitting in boredom is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, for some of you, this, this situation is nothing but a la la land type of a feeling here. Um, that's really not giving anything besides causing um, trials and tribulations to your life. 
in having you feeling like there's a setback here, okay? I do see these people trying to come along with you on your journey because for some of you are really thinking about moving, okay? You're thinking about moving away and ending all ties here and disconnect from everything. Yeah, I do see you doing that here, especially where love is concerned, okay? Um, you want something different, okay? You want something different. You really want to make things work, okay, with your your person, okay? You want to make things work or you're looking for love. You want love. You want stability. You want to grow old with your partner. You don't want to change partner every couple of months. You want to have stability. You want to have balance here with this two of cups. Um, and you want to be able to get whatever it is to come, which is luck. You want the best of luck to come towards your relationship. Um, and your situation shift, but there's a decision that has to be made here um, In order to move forward, okay set a plan in place if this is what you really truly want I'm getting there may be something better out there for you. Okay um, Because love doesn't cost anything, right? You have already given everything that you could have given Now just know that love doesn't cost anything. You just have to wear your crown is what I'm getting here Wear your crown and wear your crown with pride. Wear your crown with pride because I'm getting someone is really trying to distract you. And having you put your crown in a place that it's not meant to be. Yeah, you have to end it. It has to end. Look at this. This is a dead card here and this is again the Two of Cups. In order for you to move on to validate a new chapter in your life, things has to come to an end. Okay, there's a there's a, this like a it's like a something dies and something is reborn. Something will have to die inside of you that has been holding you back for way too long here, in a sense of rebirth, rebirth into love, into love. And this is again this was the two of cups that showed up here earlier on the other deck. The two of cups. This is your happiness. This is um marriage and, and a commitment and that what you need that you seek. It will come as lo as long as you. Decide, as soon as you decide to let go what it is that is holding you back to move forward with this love, okay? With what is it that you need to be complete here? I'm getting a total distraction um, that I see coming through. And it's time that you cut cords here and just start to manifest what you need here. Because at the end of the day, this night is coming towards you here for happiness. Um, and this person is ready to give you. This, one is, this person is willing to share with you. But you're just going to have to separate yourself, okay? You're going to have to separate yourself from whatever it is that is holding you back. And make moves here for yourself, okay? That's going to be a reading for today, Scorpio. Um, I hope it did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to like um, the videos for me. Share, alright? Um, also, thank you for everyone that has um, subscribed to my sister's channel. I do appreciate all the love that you have shown. Um, if you do need to have a prayer request, don't hesitate to put your initials down in the comment section of this video. Pray for me as I'll be praying for all of you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find fine. Hey Seekers, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It is always a blessing to have you back here. Um, today's reading is for Scorpio. Scorpio, hold on. Let me adjust my, my camera just a little bit. Okay. All right. So... Today's reading is for you guys. Scorpio. Scorpio, you know you're a diamond, right? Shine bright like a diamond. All right, Scorpio. Um, if it's your first time here and you have not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that way you'll be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me, Scorpio, because... Once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push the video out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow. The video will also grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Now also, please make a friendly note that the card has been shuffled and the card has also been blessed. But, because, but before I get into the reading... A prayer is a must because we do pray here on the channel. I'm um, going to tap into your energy after I'm done with praying and see the messages that come through for you guys, all right? 
Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and also giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Scorpio, so today we're going to find out what's going on with you and your person. Your person is your person who first came to your thought. That's your person, okay? Past, present, or future. Now, it could pick up cross watchers energy as well. So this could resonate. It could not. Also, if you do need to have a personal reading, please do not hesitate to connect with me using the information that you will find in the description part of today's video to have a personal reading done, okay? Take what resonates, y'all. Whatever did not resonate, just throw it in the trash. Don't force it to fit, okay? Just come back because I do upload very often here. All right. Okay, angels, let's tap into the energy of Scorpio, please. Tap it into the energy of Scorpio, please. What is going on with the, their person? Scorpio in love. What is the message for Scorpio in love? With their person, past, present, or future, what seems to be the setback here? Let me come over, please. It's all because of me. You're feeling sad and blue. Alright, so what I see coming in right away, Scorpio, your, pers your person is saying, let me come over, so... I see right away here where you guys may not be seen eye to eye. Some of you guys may be in separation here. Um, someone wants to come over and rekindle something here. They do admit that it's all because of them and their actions while you're feeling the way that you're feeling, which is very blue here. Tell me more, angels. Please tell me more. For Scorpio and their person, past, present, or future, what is going on with their situationship? What is that that I need to share? How is their person feeling towards them? Seen or unseen, please. I'm praying more, baby. Okay. So I do feel as if this could be you that is finding yourself praying more than you normally do. As well as I feel this is your person kind of coming in as I'm trying to be a better me for you. I'm getting here. Yeah, my ego fucked up what we had, yeah. Your person saying that their ego got the, the best of what could have been with the two of you. It, I feel like this also was a, a big ender. This ego um, kind of had you feeling like you didn't want to be bothered with whatever anymore. How do I make things right again is what they're saying. All right, with my ego that really played a part here, how do I make things right again, baby? What do I have to do? What is it going to take for you to let me back in? What is it going to take to have you have me come over? Okay, please sign me more, please, angels. What's the message here for, for Scorpio? Please don't leave me, all right? So your person is begging and plead, pleading the fifth year. They don't want to be in separation with you, okay? Um, whether you guys are living together or not, I'm seeing my lies made me lose you. My lies made me lose you, okay? Tell me more. What kind of lie was this? What kind of a lie was this? Tell me more. Tell me more angels. Let's reconnect. I'm not happy without you. The person wants to reconnect. Let me go ahead and pull um, two angels, okay? To help me with your reading here. All right, angels. What's your uh, purpose here? And what's your number placement in line, please? What is your purpose here for Scorpio? And your number placement in line, please? We have one more angels to assist me with this reading for Scorpio, please. Okay, angels have spoken. The first angels was the angel of beginning, and this is the twenty-second angel in line. 
And then the second angel that came through to assist me with your reading is the angels of tranquility. And this will be the 33rd angel in line. Thank you, angels, for coming through to assist me with this reading. For Scorpio, we appreciate you. Right, angels, angels of new beginnings, angels of tranquility. Hmm. A person saying that they fucked up a, a good thing here. Whatever it is between the two of you, they said that they did fuck the, fucked up a good thing here. As well as their ego also did that, right? Massive ego here that's coming through. A very massive, huge ego here. Wow. I should have never left you. I'm getting a regret here. I should have never left you. I really want to come clean about what it is and why I really left, okay? But I do stay spying on you to see if you have moved on um, to anyone I've turned everything with us upside down, and now I'm trying to find a way to fix it. But it's hard for you to trust me, okay? It's really hard for you to trust me is what I'm getting. It's what I'm getting. It's what I'm hearing, y'all. All right? I'm still learning to be a better person, okay? It's what I'm busy trying to do here. I'm learning. It's, I'm taking baby steps, but I'm learning here. Um, I'm trying to come back. Just let me in, okay? Just let me in. Just let me come over. I'm so lonely without you, okay? I'm rather lonely without you here. Um, now I know it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I'm getting somebody might have blamed the other person for what they were doing. Please allow me to explain, okay? Please allow me to explain why I did what I did, why I said what I said. Please allow me to explain. All right, let me go ahead and pull some messages here, okay? Because I feel something coming in that I, I know I'm going to need to share. All right, angels of new beginnings, angels of tranquility, speak through me, please. Clarify these cards, please. Let me have some more messages here. Um, for Scorpio, please. Let me have some more messages here for Scorpio, please. What's the present energy? What does that need to share with Scorpio about their situation? Okay, what is their need? To, what do they need to know? Use me as your vessel to speak positivity here. Uh, psychic ability. Someone has a psychic ability here. Uh, your spirit guide already told you what I'm about to tell you. Tell me more, angels. What is this that I see? Mm -hmm. The truth. Your intuition already tells you. You already know that what you need is freedom here, okay? Is what I'm getting, Scorpio. You have a passion for something, okay? Within. I'm getting this passion here is separation, okay? Um, time apart. From your partner is on the horizon. Some of you guys are already in separation for sure. If it's if it how not if it has not happened already, it is coming. Time apart, separation is coming. Okay. Wow. Mm -mm. All right. So I'm getting you some blessing that is coming in towards you. Okay. Um, this blessing is telling me. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to have a fun and shine, okay? This is giving me a blessing is coming, right? This blessing is having me feel like you have to start with the home first. Clean up your home. A lot of people have a tendency to uh, do their purification, cleaning their body, but not touching the home structure. This is where you start from, the home, okay? It's time for cleansing here. Lighten your load, okay? You're walking with a lot of burden and a lot of stress is what I'm seeing here. Um, confidence. Confidence and beauty within yourself, within yourself here. Um, I'm getting inspiration here. Inspiration, it comes with your strength to tap into energy here, okay? 
Now, as far as this commitment, what you're seeking here, angels are once again telling me that trust is what you need. Trust is what you need right here. See, I already knew all of that because I already know that someone has a spiritual connection here, which they are not using. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Angels of new beginning did come through. An angel of, of tranquility trying to love on you for a little bit, okay, and being an empress, okay, in unrecruited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Someone has lost the flame here. The flame has been lost, but someone has to make the effort here because what I'm getting is deception, okay? I'm getting deception, y'all. I'm getting deception here, okay? There's some kind of attraction that's coming in. You attract romantic love to enjoy, by enjoying this moment fully, okay? Start loving on you. Angels of tranquility will bring you this new beginning. For some of you, you're either on a journey to start a new beginning with what you already have, or for some of you, you just need to let go and start something brand new, okay? This is what I'm getting here. Because someone is not saying it all. Someone wants to come over, but I feel like someone wants to come over to just come over. If it's not love, then you don't need it. If it's not true love, they're coming over with, you know, because I see someone going to be grieving, okay? Why do I feel like someone needs to set some rules here? I'm getting rules need to be set. Look at that. The cards are just flying, y'all. Life purpose, okay? Life purpose. You're going to have to set some rules here with this situation, okay? If you feel like you're binded to what you have here, as far as your person is concerned, then you're going to have to set some ground rules. Okay, that's on period. And that's on period. That's on solid, solid period. Life work. Okay? Life work. Know your purpose. Know your purpose and know what you need to be happy. Time apart from your person is needed. It's is on the horizon here. True love. True love. If you are not getting this coming over that is bringing you love, and not only is it bringing you love, but it's not bringing you the true love that you need, well, honey, we are in for trouble, okay? We are in for trouble. We are in for trouble. This has to be a romance of a lifetime. If it doesn't feel like a romance of a lifetime, then we're going to be bumping into walls all over again is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing I'm bumping into walls. I'm, I'm falling and I can't get up. Okay? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting. You can come over, but what are we going to come over and do? Are we going to come over and lay in the sack? Are we going to come over and have a one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation here? And are we going to try to communicate and try to kind of start praying on a spiritual level to pull positivity in toward the two of us so we could move forward with bigger and better things are we just coming over to reconnect on a sexual level hello the, uh, hello okay hello that's just some period y'all i'm getting know your word is what i'm getting tranquility love on yourself for a little bit because somebody needs some new beginnings over here all right angels tap into energy and get this two pentacles okay somebody's seriously juggling some things here juggling some things here not really know where the hell they really want to set their mind frame here this could be you that is juggling love and 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 money or money and love or love and love or something. So this could be your person. We're having a hard time to kind of stable out some things here, making the proper choice, um, and not making any movements here. This is what I'm getting, what I'm hearing here. Um, the Knight of Wands with this Two of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So I'm getting this person really wants to come over and talk. Right, they want to come over and talk and try some things again. Okay, uh, this was what I'm seeing here. They want to come over and they do want to have a conversation, but let's see where this is going. Okay, let's see where this is going because what I do see is if you don't set the foundation, what I do see is things falling apart again because the tower is here. Okay, this tower is here, honey. 
Okay. Because your relationship already feels like it's in separation as is. If it ain't, it's about to be. Because something is, this is falling apart. The tower is here. The Ace of Cups. Okay. Angel is telling me about this new love um, that came through earlier. This is the Angel of the New Beginning. New Beginning is giving me this Ace of Cups. Okay. Um, true love. One that you could nourish. Or one that will nourish you and having you know your worth. Setting you up on high. Uh, as far as being an empress. Okay. Having joy. Bringing joy towards you. And true love towards you. And none of that fake stuff. You know. None of that promise, promise type of thing. Those promises is done, honey. Okay. Because I'm getting this promise, honey, with this, this nine of swords here. This promise is going to bring me a lot of anxiety if you don't set the set things in place here. Okay. Setting things in place and making your movement here. What you want is abundance. There's four ones. You want to build abundance here. Okay. It's what you need. Okay. Abundance. You want to build a mountain here with your person. And so they build a mountain with you. That comes in with a marriage that comes in with a marriage that is set in stone that comes in with you working together as a unit if you are not doing that honey then here comes the ten of wands okay oh, honey when i tell you you're going to be dealing with some stuff if you do not set the father grounds or set the ground rules big trouble okay i do feel like whatever you have been through with the situation as is you have healed from all of that, okay? You have healed from all of that, but if you are not super careful moving forward, okay? If you don't set those ground rules, honey, okay? And go in with just with your, wide, your heart wide open, okay? You're going to run into a little wall here. You're going to be shaking the, shaking the table, all right? If you're not using your spiritual connection already, that was your very first card. There's two cards that I pulled this deck. Those cards came up first in the back, okay? I know you already have your intuition that you're not using properly, okay? To figure out some things. When fake ass units come around you, you're going to end up being in trouble if you don't, okay? You have been healed from what had happened, what's causing the separation. You have been healed from that. And you're going to move on to this on a happy level. Angels of new beginning. Let them bring new beginnings towards you that you can build and grow on with this four of wands, okay? If you're not getting that, well, honey, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Listen, hit the damn road, Jack, is all I got to say, all right? If they're not coming in with something that's true and pure and kind, all right? Um, um period, Scorpio, I'm not playing. Mm-hmm. Not playing, Scorpio. You know, I always tell you the truth. Okay? I'm not playing. So I just tell you what I see here. Okay? I'm not telling you what to you see. Your person wants to come back. And I'm feeling like, you know, it's okay to try again. Okay? Because if a knot is in a string, patience can untie it. Patience can do anything. Okay? Patience can do anything. However, you're going to have to set some boundaries for yourself. Okay? Boundaries for yourself and let that boundary flow towards your person before they come in towards you, okay? I rest you're going to feel like this, the two of pentacles, okay? That is it for now, my darlings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach two pre-recorded videos here. So you'll see those two, two pre-recorded videos um, after you've seen this one. So hang tight. And go and watch those for those of you that did not see those videos. Um, because I'm getting a lot of people is actually contacting me through Instagram and telling me they're not getting my uploads. Um, I kind of know why pretty much. So go ahead and, and kind of um, play around with your notifications. So that way you can get the note. Get, so that we can know when I upload. Um, and that you don't miss any of these readings. But I'm going to go ahead for the next couple of days. And kind of attach the ones that you guys are seeing that you didn't see. Onto the new ones. So the new ones will be in the front and the older ones will be in the back. All right. So hang tight. Watch that. Um, thumbs up the videos for me. I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, thank you for all your love and support. Okay. Um, if you need a prayer request, Scorpio, go ahead and jot your initials down. Um, I'll do the prayer chain tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Um, thank you for the love and support that you show on my sister. She has her channel, y'all. 
So if you want to send her pink roses or whatever, just go ahead and subscribe. Her link will be down, down here, down below. So go ahead and just go ahead and subscribe to her. I'll see you later, y'all. I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you'll always find later. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It's always a blessing to have you back here. Um, today's reading is all about you, okay? If you know you're a diamond, shine beautiful and bright like a diamond. Also, please make a friendly note that if the reading does not resonate, do not get hurt, offended, or in your feelings, okay? It only simply means that the reading is not for you. But if you come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to the channel, Scorpio, don't hesitate to do so and turn on your post notification. That way you will know when I upload brand new contents, okay? For all my returning seekers, you know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and for the support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Now, also, please make a friend and know that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. Um, this is going to be your love reading. Whatever comes through, comes through as well. Um, whatever angel wants to bring through, they definitely will. Take what's yours and leave the rest. I'm going to get into a quick pray, y'all, because prayer is needed here. We do pray here, okay? Let's pray and then tap into your energy. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's get some sage in this place, y'all. All right. All right, angels. All right, let's get some messages here. All right, no, um, Scorpio, this is a general reading. It's not a personal one, okay? It will not resonate to every single one of you. Just go ahead and take what resonates to whatever you're dealing with right now and leave the rest. You can pick up your person's energy, past person, present person, future person, or whatever comes true, comes true. Now, also know that the cross watchers who does watches these videos, this could resonate for you as well. Do the same by taking what's yours and leave the rest. Now, if you do need to have a personal reading, y'all, the information and how to connect with me for a personal reading will be in the description part of this video. Now, if you're connected with me using my email, it takes me a longer time to get to my email. So if you want to have your reading fast, 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 it's better that you text me at the number that you see in bottom or... Go ahead and uh, connect with me on Instagram if you do have Instagram. Now, have two payment method is PayPal or Cash App payments only. Okay. All right. So let's get um, into your reading. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some angels through here. All right. Just to assist me with your reading, we have two angels here. All right, so the first angel is the angel of belief. This will be the third angel in, in line. And then we have the angels of learning. This will be the 19th angel. Okay, um, Scorpio, please go ahead and write these two angels down on white paper. If you have parchment paper, write them, these angels down as well. Be sure that you are putting the number of the angel on that parchment paper. Write your situation on that paper. Place it under your pillow while you sleep tonight these angels will work and manifest on your behalf whatever it is that you're looking for they will come through for you thank you angels for coming to to assist me with this reading today for scorpio all right let me go ahead and pull some messages here all right angels give me some messages here please for scorpio please okay All right, love and eight, no more words unsaid. Believe me, sweetheart, you ain't missing out on nothing. Okay, is what I'm getting. Now, with these two cards that is coming through, okay, what I do feel is a love and hate relationship that is coming in, right? It's like two people is not learning from each other because the angels of learning did come through. Now, the angels of belief did come true because they needed to be here because someone needs to know whatever you bring into your relationship is whatever the hell you will bring out. Whatever it is that you manifest in your relationship, 
is what you will bring out, okay? If you guys are arguing and fussing and fighting and not seeing eye to eye, that is what will be manifested in your relationship. A lot of back and forth and, and people not doing this and people not doing that. All because, because two people are not communicating and two people is not willing to learn from whatever it is that had been done, damages that been done. It's a constant, it's like you have a wound and you're constantly stabbing that same wound. It's not been healed, okay? A lot of, you know, you did this, you didn't do that right. And it just keeps going and going and going and going until it's, I feel like for some of you, this pain is just escalating. What is it that you need me to share? Angels of belief. What is it that you need me to share? Come through and give me some clarity for Scorpio, please. What is it that you need me to share with Scorpio? All right. Someone is saying, I kept my feelings for, uh, I kept my feelings for you a secret because I was afraid of being judged. Okay. You were my best kept secret. Wow. Hmm. You remember this card that came through? Love and hate. No more words unsaid. That was a secret. Words unsaid. A best kept secret. I want to have a family with you one day. But how can this happen when one remains in a secret? Please hug me and never let me go. Wow. Okay. Remember, forgiveness comes with growth. So there may have been a lot of things that really damaged the relationship. A lot of um, broken promises um, that really played a factor here. Where one is feeling like the connection may have been lost on one's part. Maybe you're feeling like this person made a lot of broken dreams here. Um, gave you some kind of a hope that things would have been this way or that way. But in all reality, they did the total opposite is what I'm feeling. This really feels to me like a form of devastation. Someone was devastated, okay? Devastated to the point where you can't even sleep, eat, or drink anymore, okay? Um, heartbroken, heart struck in here. Now, hmm, wow. Oh, hold on, y'all, because, hmm, the energy, I'm telling you. All of a sudden, I just feel rather thirsty, Okay, <laughs> now I see why. Now I see why I'm thirsty, y'all. There's someone that wants to come through. Someone wants to come through, okay? I'm getting this person. Um, It feels like... It feels like two people that actually wants to come through, really. Okay? But I'm getting... This could be a, like a parent. It feels like an old, like older energy. It feels like a mother and a father, but the but the, the energy, the woman is coming first. She's coming in first, okay? So the father, the, the older male person is kind of standing back and having her speak, okay? Now she's coming through and she's saying, you've been asking yourself, okay? Is it safe to trust this situation, that's what she's saying. You've been asking yourself, is it safe to, to trust the situation? Okay. But she's saying that you to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition is what she's saying. Trust your intuition here. It speaks to you loud and clear. Okay. Hmm. She's also saying that you need to make a decision. I feel like this is the male energy because she's speaking. Now, he, he's saying that you need to make a decision. Someone is saying you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision. They're saying that you and this person that's in question, they're saying that you and this person, you guys do not share the same vision is what I'm hearing. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this. Look at my goose pimples. You see that, y'all? You see that? This is all... Look at that. Goose... I'm, I don't know if you call these... But back in Jamaica, we call these goose pimples. 
I'm cold. My whole body is cold, y'all. Mm. You and this person don't share the same vision at all. You don't. They're telling me something about you being very miserable here. You're really miserable here. But you won't talk about it. You shouldn't be accepting this person's flaw. There's no room for acceptance. They're saying that you've already put time and energy in all the things that the relationship was calling for is what I'm hearing. Time and energy already put in. You already, already invested time here. Hmm. I feel like there's something else that someone wants to say something here. Tell me more. What is, is there anything you want to share? What else? I feel something else coming in, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Yep. After a storm, there must be a calm. That's what I'm getting. After a storm, there must be a calm. Let's see where let's see where, where your person mindset is, okay? All right, Scorpio. <clears throat> angels of learning and angels of belief. Tap into the energy of Scorpio, please. And their person. Where's their mindset? Just pull four cards here. Okay. 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 <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The angels are real. You hear me? Angels are real, y'all. Hmm. This is as real as it gets. Your person, okay, Scorpio. And I want to take it nice and slow, right? I'm not even going to speed it up. I'm just going to take it nice and slow, so you guys can really understand what I'm seeing here, and not just not just what I'm seeing, but what I'm really feeling, okay? Your person is saying, I really want to come clean. Okay. We're going to do it nice and slow, Scorpio. Past person, present person, future person. Take it as it resonates with you. Where you want to place your person, you go ahead and place that person. Okay. But someone wants to come clean. I really want to come clean. Okay? Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I really want to come clean. I made you a promise. And I broke your heart. I made you a promise. And I broke your heart. But listen to this. They're saying that they were dealing with a lot of financial problems here. I was dealing with financial problems. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Let me go ahead and get the tarot, y'all. We're going to clarify these cards. We're going to clarify everything that came through. Let's clarify these cards. 
You know what? I just feel like I need to get this one. Do I need this one? No. Angel said no. I need to go back. I need to go back, y'all. So we're going to go back. Take it back. All right, what's the message here? Clarify these cards. The Angels of Learning, number 19. And the Angel of Belief, number 3. Clarify these cards, please. Clarify these cards for Scorpio. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I have here, okay, is the Knight of Wands. Now I'm gonna tell you how I feel with this Knight of Wands being here. I do feel the person really is sincere, genuinely sincere about um coming back. They did say they want to come clean. I really want to come clean, all right? I see them want to come in, okay? They have a lot of things going on here. A lot of hidden things. They're kind of worried about coming all the way clean, all right? Please don't leave me. They don't try. They don't want you to leave all the way leave, all right? They don't want that. But they're dealing with a lot of trials and tribulation here, okay? Like they said, they were dealing with a lot of financial stuff. They're also dealing with a lot of other things in the dark, in the shadow, right, that you don't need know about. There's a lot of secrets that's been kept here, okay? But I do see them coming in. They're coming in for something with you, okay? They want to do that, and that's for sure. Now, we have the Ace of Wands here, right? And we also have the Four of Cups. Now, in addition to that, we have the Hang Man here. Then we have the King of Cups. Now the Judgment card is here, but this Judgment card did show up in the reverse, okay? Now also what's here in the reverse is um, this Nine of Swords, right? All right, so we're going to talk about these cards and then we're going to clarify this card. This is in your present form. We're going to clarify this uh, Nine of Swords and see why it's here and kind of pull the energy to see where your person's mindset is. Or whatever needs to come through as far as you moving forward, okay? Now, this uh, Ace of Wands. I do feel like a new chapter is needed here, okay? I'm definitely feeling like there was things that wasn't learned, things that wasn't shown in the surface. But I do see a struggle coming in here. Wanting to kind of um, figure some things out. Want to kind of tap it into into spiritual form, learning something new, getting something new, new ideas, new possibilities, whether it's with your past, your present, your future, but there's something new that needs to come in here, okay? Um, I also feel like someone is on a journey, a soul-searching type of a journey. This could be you. This could be a person that might, might be ready to kind of stop the games and start thinking on a positive level, all right? But what I do see this kind of throwing things off is this four, four of uh, cups in the reverse. And because it showed up in the reverse, um, I do feel like there might have been a sense of someone waiting, okay? Waiting, but waiting in boredom. Waiting uh, where the satisfaction wasn't guaranteed here, you know? I do feel like someone is done doing that. Someone doesn't want to do that anymore. Um, I feel like you're ready to... Showing the towels here. I see the towels been thrown in um, because you're trying to make a, a, a choice. You're trying to make a decision. You're trying not to make another mistake. You're trying to be happy. You're trying to be at peace. You're trying not to walk in sadness anymore is what I see you doing here. But because the hangman is here, there's definitely a situation here where um, you're either trying to wait to see if this person will change to either see if they, whatever they have to say sounds better than what they said before. Or this could be a person that's definitely waiting for you to calm down a little bit to come in to approach you here. Okay. 
because they're not ready to tell you exactly what you need to, to know. They'll tell you what you want to hear, but they're not going to tell you what you need to know here, okay? Um, because they're still not going to tell you all of it, all of what you need to to feel to feel more secure, to have a feel of balance and, and, and happiness here in your relationship, in your placement, right? Um, but this King of Cups here, um, I do also feel like, you know, there's a possibility of new love that's 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 coming in towards you because you want you you might have met someone already where you're kind of figuring out if you need to be with this person or that person. But I can tell you this person wants to shine to manifest. This is manifestation here. Um and happiness and, and truth and love here, but you're torn. The decision has not been made. A decision has to be made here. Okay. A choice has to be made. For some of you, you might have made it. Some of you still kind of on a limbo, still not really knowing where to go with this. But judgment is here. Whether the judgment was sitting up or, or in, in the upright or, or, or whatever, however it decides to place, I'm still getting that you need to make a decision here. Okay. Our damn choice. Okay? And that's just on period. That's on period. Okay. A decision needs to be made. Okay. Because it, life is like life, life no wait, time no wait for nobody. Okay. I can remember when I was three years old, okay? And now I'm old as hell, okay? It doesn't wait for nobody, on period. you are trying to heal from whatever it is that you might have been healed from. Maybe it's a damn broken heart because your person seems to say something don't come true with it and hide. It'll have a lot of secrets, a lot of things in the uh, hiding in the, in the mist. Who the hell knows what's in the mist, okay? Is what I'm feeling here. You're walking away or you're trying to heal from whatever it is that they might have brought towards you, okay? You're trying to move on. You're trying to um, set a foundation for yourself where your finances is where it needs to be, where your happiness is where it needs to be, where your growth and stability is where it needs to be. But you really want to be with your person, but your person is not ready to be exactly where you need to be in in your life, okay? Um, it's like, I don't know why I'm getting like, if you... The energy that I'm getting from your person is like, if you decide to go back right now, you have to settle for the way things was or the way things will be. It's not like they're going to give you, look at the sun, okay? There's a blessing that's coming towards you, but listen, let me tell you something. I'm not playing with y'all, Scorpios, because y'all Scorpions are... Very strong-headed people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't take advice that much easily. You know, I, I know, I know about you, Scorpio. I have a daughter who's a Scorpio. Okay. Now, listen. What I'm seeing here, okay? You have a massive amount of blessing that is coming in because, see, you're putting in a lot of work to change some things. Okay. You might not be all the way there, but you're going to get there. Okay, you're getting there because you're putting it in the work, you're putting it in the effort. But see, you're fighting for this love over here. It's holding you back. Okay, is what I see happening here. You've thought about it. You you're healing. You're healing from what you had to deal with. This three. There's a third party here, y'all. Okay, your person is involved. They either involved in a third party then that caused y'all to be broken up. Okay, or communication fall apart, some shit. But there was someone here, okay? There was someone here, they, and they're sitting here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn, I'm going to turn this shit down, okay? And kind of, yeah, let's do some cleansing over here, okay? Because I feel like it's needed. If this would go away, I feel like your situation will become a better outcome, right? You know what I'm getting, but... But not, not just that. I do feel like your person gets very distracted very easily. Very distracted. The very distracted person that you found yourself with. It, cause, it, it really caused your energy to kind of chill out all the time and just be thinking, thinking, thinking over time. This, this four of swords, you're done thinking, okay? There's no room for thinking. There's more room for healing and, and doing what you got to do, okay? Because you see this right here? You have been dealt like that because of this. This little situation that I turned around, turned down, you have been dealt a bad blow, all right? It's time that you rise, honey. Rise, okay? And just start and fly and soar and beautiful in the sky like you always do, all right? Manifest the hell out of your life, though. I'm telling you, do it. 
Get to it. Get to it, Scorpio. Manifest your life. All right? Yes. Do it. Starting today, boo. I'm telling you because, honey, the sun's going to shine on your parade. All right? It's coming. It is coming. Whatever the enemy had for evil is going to turn back around and, and, and you're going to be blessed and highly damn favored like you should. Okay? That's on period. Right? Don't be waiting around because this person ain't getting there no damn time soon. All right? That's it. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to pray because prayer does work. But most of all, all right, always remember to seek first and you will always find later.